Although railways had existed in Great Britain before the advent of the 19th century, it was that century in which they can truly be said to have come of age, and that the 100 years from the first run of George Stevenson's Blucher in July 1814 was the golden age of the steam locomotive. Much of the early development of steam locomotives can be attributed to Stevenson, whose crowning achievement, and a milestone in world history, was the construction of the Liverpool and Manchester Railway, opened in 1830, and the progenitor of the truly public railways that led to the success of the Victorians and the huge changes to human society that were to come. A year before the opening of the Liverpool and Manchester Railway, a series of trials were held on a completed part of the line at Rainhill. The objective was to test the suitability of various forms of steam locomotive in order to decide on what type to build for the working of the line, or whether to rely on stationary ones. The trials attracted huge interest, members of all sections of society attending the competition, which took place over a number of weeks in October 1829. Five locomotives were entered, and every move was avidly reported and became the leading story of the times. A prize of £500 was to be awarded to the winners, two or three locomotives performing each day. The first to drop out was Cycloped, simply a horse walking on a rail-borne drive belt. Next affair was Perseverance, which was damaged on its way to Rainhill and never fully repaired. That left three real competitors. The crowd's favourite was Novelty. It looked very modern at the time and had a distinct likeness to road steam carriages and particularly fire engines. This was because its builders, Ericsson and Braithwaite, built horse-drawn fire engines with steam pumps. It was lightweight and completely unlike the lumbering colliery steam engines of the time. It was also fast, reaching 28 miles an hour on its first test. But it suffered a boiler leak which couldn't be corrected in time and failed to complete the trials and was withdrawn. However, it had quite a long life, being used on the St Helens and Runcorn Gap Railway for a number of years. 